Okay, so, um, I think it's really funny. Can you turn off that fan, please? I think it's really funny to me how, um, I'm getting hate from both sides, and so, like, so you think this is nothing new, because it's not, but I will say the hate on the right has subsided until now. So, I always get a lot of hate from the left. As you guys know, I was ostracized from my community. I was told I was not worthy enough to be, um, to be proud of being gay. I was told I didn't belong. I was told that I didn't... I wasn't allowed at the Gay Pride Festival. I was told all these things by the left, right? And I was um, told that my life was threatened. I was sent pictures of guns, all these crazy things, right? So um, the left has always hated me, and so whatever. It's been about two years now since that's been going on, so I got kind of used to those death threats and stuff. So from the right, um, I got a little hate from the right here and there, um, just because some people don't understand me, or they don't understand my look, which is um, totally shitty and um, against all things right. I get the religious-based Republicans, and that's cute. You can hug your Bible all you fucking want. But um, I'm for the Constitution, and I'm for the right. So stop costing us votes and stop hating on me. But anyways, I want to read um, some co some comments I got from both sides. And that's really kind of crazy. And it shows that there's hateful people on both sides, for sure. For sure. But definitely, I still know and still believe that there's more hate coming from the left. Um, although, I do want to show some of the um, hypocrisies of the right as well. So um, here I am. So I made a, a video last night about conversion therapy and, um, really guys, about conversion therapy. And I'm still getting things to the second about it. And um, my whole stance on this was, how can you, on the left, be for abortion and say their body, their choice, but not be for conversion therapy, which is both male and female, um, who choose to convert to be straight. And um, I just didn't understand it, so I wanted to talk about that. I wanted to talk about the fact that that's very hypocritical, because in America, we can all live the lifestyles we choose. And that's what I stand for. So, if somebody wants to choose to be straight and not gay anymore, and they want to do whatever that is, whatever it takes to do so, they have that right. And I don't think that we should be dictating or telling anybody what they should live like or what they shouldn't live like. And I get it that we accept gays these days, but to say that somebody is forced and has to stay gay... Who the fuck are you? I personally will never get conversion therapy. I personally think it's kind of stupid and retarded to even consider. But I don't think that I have any position to sit there and say that that should not be available to people who do want to do that. That was the point of my video. There's a lot of idiot Republicans who didn't fucking even hear me out. They saw my look and they attacked it right away. Let's read some of the comments, shall we? So, these are the comments I got from both sides. I'll start with the right, though, because why not? So, um, let's see. Oh, God, here we go. Hmm. Okay, so some of them says, what the hell is that thing? A gay Republican. We do exist, just so you know. Somebody else says, um, there's also good comments. Somebody said, I think I love you. Thank you for thinking outside the box. You're very welcome, Myra. You're really awesome, too. It's Myra Slickmos. You're really, really awesome, and thank you for your support. Okay, Philip Pyrone says, People of this caliber will not be part of the future. Boy. Boy. First of all, bitch, I am the future. What the fuck? The fuck? I'm way younger than you, homie. And let's keep going. Um, Thomas C. Coates who cares what this bitch has to say? Not me. Thousands of people do. As you can see, that one video alone got 4.5k people watching it as we speak. So, clearly, somebody wants to hear me out. <laughs> J.W. Jones. Hooray for this guy for not being just another sheeple. He is what he is and does not feel the need to follow a crowd just because they claim to have his back. Free thinkers know better. Thank you, J.W. Jones. You are correct. And then, <clears throat> Tony Silverance. Really, Larry? And posted a picture of, let's make 2018 the year we find a cure for liberalism. Um, Tony, I'm not a liberal. I'm a Republican. Now, you look like an idiot for not watching the video and actually just looking at my face and saying, oh, must be a liberal. Hmm. Looks like you're part of the left, just as ignorant. Okay, next one. Sean Cunningham. Why is it? It's a he. I'm a he. I'm a boy. And in case you guys didn't know, makeup was made for skin, not for vaginas. They're made for skin. So if you have skin, 
technically, you can wear makeup. If you're a man and been through a, a burn um, trauma incident, you wear makeup. If you're a man and you're on television, all the men that you guys look up to on television and football or whatever, all those announcers, they all wear makeup. Yeah, that's true. Get over yourself. Next. <clears throat> Jerry Jones. Someone fucking kill it before it lays eggs. Mm. I can't lay eggs. You know, I've been trying to get pregnant for a while now. So one time I thought my face was pregnant, but no. Mm -hmm. um, I can't get pregnant, though, because in case you didn't pass biology, I'm a man. I have a dick. I'm a dude. Yo, bro. You know? You have one of those. I like football. Actually, rephrase I don't like football. I, I watch the Cowboys only. I know it's like this year. I get it. I don't want to talk about it. don't want to talk about it. It's not what we're here for. Next. <clears throat> Larry Browse. The Declaration of Independence tells everyone that they have the right to live to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, not just you. Pursue happiness, everyone, and keep out of the way of others. Mind your own business. Amen, Larry. Larry also added, conservatives just can't mind their own business. They are insecure and they think they will get the urge to go gay or transgender. You know, Larry, I do get that point. I do understand that some conservatives are really... Um, small-minded and they do may I don't know why they get scared of the gay thing I think that you may be onto something by thinking that they may get the urge or something but I do want you guys to know that if because you're Republican doesn't mean you have to be a certain demographics and when you say that and when you say that how can you be gay and Republican and you're on the Republican side then just know you cost us a lot of motherfucking votes homeboy because what you're doing is you're telling gays that they can't be Republican like Guess what? I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here regardless. And all of you hate comments that are older than me, you're going to die before me. So either way, I'm going to be here for the rest of your life. And there's thousands of us. There's thousands of gay Republicans. And we exist. And we belong here. And whether you like it or not, if you haven't learned anything from the gay community, we invade and we stay regardless of where you're comfortable or not. Now, I don't agree with the gay community with the way they're doing it right now with the leftist movements. But I will say, I'm a Republican and I'm here to stay, so get used to it. Move over, bitch, because here I am. We vote the same. Stop costing us votes. Stop making people think that Trump is racist and homophobic and all the things that you are, because you are those things. You're making me look bad. Next. <clears throat> Let's see. Paul Horn. He said, bathe much? Yes, I do. Actually, I bathe a lot, Paul. But... If you must know, since you must know my bathing habits, it's kind of weird that a straight man who hates gay people wants to know a gay man's bathing habits. You want to know what I'm doing when I'm naked. That's kind of strange. But let's explain them. I bathe every day. I'm a hairstylist and makeup artist. In case you guys didn't know, this is what I do for a living. If you guys want to look at my other page, it's called Hair by Christopher Drew. Look at my Instagram, Hair by Christopher Drew. Look at my TikTok, Hair by Christopher Drew. Look me up. And these are um, starting to dread. You are right. And does it, is it clean? Is it washed? Yes. Why? Because I just said I'm a hairstylist. That's what I do for a living, you idiot. <laughs> like, the fuck? Okay, next. Thank you, Deanna Marr, for standing up for me, though, to Paul Horn. He said, bathe much. She said, jerk much. Is his style? It's his style. Who cares? His heart is in the right place. Don't push people away from the conservative movement just because you don't understand them. Amen, Deanna. I can have said it nicer myself because I fucking say it meanly, but... <laughs> It is what it is. So, um, next, let's go to um, all the loving ones. Missy Nelson said, love him. Misty Jones says, hashtag woke. And Andrea Kirkham says, thank you. Amber Rubin says, Mike Pence once supported the use of federal funding to treat people seeking to change their sexual behavior. He never forced anyone, nor did he support shock, th shock treatment. Liberals are fear mongers. You are right as, as it is a choice. We all have choices. Amen. And that was the whole point of the video, you guys. You idiots. Whether you're on the left or the right, you guys all came for me. And I think it's stupid. Because the ones on the right that came for me, you make me even madder than the ones on the left that come for me. Because the ones on the left that come for me, they don't fucking matter. They hear my truth and they get pissed off because they know it's true. You hear my truth. Oh, wait. You don't. You don't hear my truth. You look at the way I look and you assume I'm some way. And then you comment some nasty ass comment costing me more votes. Because I have a lot of people that watch my videos, in case you haven't noticed, thousands. So when people watch my videos and they hear that truth... They come over to our side. The walk away movement is huge. I'm really involved. So just know, Trump won because of people like me. Your president won because of people like me. Your side keeps winning because of people like me. Appreciate me. I think you would be better than a fuck you. Next. 
And yes, I popped my fucking tongue, bitch. And what? And what? And what? Like, fuck. Shut up. All you fucking dumbass people. That's why people judge Trump. That's why people think Trump is racist and homophobic. And he's not none of those things. It's because people are you. Shut your fucking mouth and sit down and fucking take a number, bitch. <laughs> Next. <clears throat> so, um... Somebody else... Thank you, Mark Rubin. He says, you do as you please as long as you can see the evil in the current Democratic Party, which I do. You're all good. No judgment here. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, Kathleen Brooks, you're the one I have the biggest question for. You said, isn't that the guy who roundhoused the pro-life girl? What happened? <laughs> like, I already know what she's talking about. I was like, what? Girl, I didn't roundhouse kick nobody, but I want to know. Is there a video? Like, what is this about? Who, who roundhouse kicked the pro-life? I want to know. That looks like you. Does it look like me? That looks like me, bitch. I thought I look like different. I, I know I'm weird. I know I look fucking, bitch, I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. But I did not know that somebody looked like me and roundhouse kicked somebody like that's famous. Like, can you tell me who this was, Kathleen Brooks? Because I'm interested. Anyway, so this was my response to all the haters, which as you guys know, there's a couple thousand of you guys. Hi. My response was this. I'm Republican, and if any of you still judge me, then tell me this. I have thousands watch my videos, and I influence many. Do you appreciate the votes I bring to the right? If so, then let me live and shut the fuck up. I'm a Republican, and I have been ostracized by every friend I've ever had, because they're all on the left. The last ones I need hating me are the right that I stood my ground defending. Now please respect differences, and let's get this country right together. Divide, we fall, and damn it, I assure you, I will stand until I'm the last motherfucker to fall. Guaranteed you will fall before me. Anyways, so that was a little intense, I get it. But I kept on having to, I just copy and pasted that to everybody, because I was like, I'm, I'm going to say it once, and anytime I saw a hate comment, I was like, bitch, learn today. Bitch, learn today. Bitch, learn today. And I don't know why it surprises any of you, whether you're Christian or not Christian or whatever the fuck you are. You like gays, you hate gays. It doesn't matter what your opinion is. I respect your opinion because this is America. But I want you to know something. Not only do I respect it, but I also don't give a fuck about it. I'm going to be here. I'm for the Constitution. Why am I a Republican? Because I'm for the Constitution. I'm for the... Con Let me repeat that. I'm for the what? The Constitution. Hmm... Same thing what most of you claim to be about. Bring your God into whatever conversation you want, and that's cute, and that's dandy, and I respect your right to religion, but I respect my right to be a faggot, okay? Thank you. And nobody asked you to go watch my video, or not watch my video, and just look at the way I look, and then comment about it. Nobody asked you to do any of these fucking things. Like, if you hate homo so much, why are you following a homo? What are you doing on a homo's page? I mean, I don't get it. If you hate homos that much, why are you on a homo's page, watching him put on makeup, and talk about politics. That's not manly. I mean, if you're the manly man who said, I'm a dumbass bitch, well, tell me, what are you doing with your life watching homos on fucking the internet? Does your wife know? Because, I mean, <laughs> now she does. <laughs> I'm just saying. Another person said, <clears throat> unhinged. Okay, you could, I, I could tell you that. Another person says, you look like you're on drugs. Put down the meth pipe. Okay, cute. That's the funniest one I've heard. Okay, so I do have an overactive adrenal gland. Ah, ah, bitch, I'm not going to explain myself. You know, I was going to explain my medical conditions to you guys. But I'm not going to. Why? Because that's none of your fucking business and I don't care. I don't care. Tell me why if you think... If you think I'm on drugs, don't druggies normally lose things? And don't druggies normally, like, not want to be in the public eye, aren't they? Like, hiding somewhere? Like, I don't know how druggy acts, but apparently you do. So, you tell me. Because I just gain. I make a lot of money. I live in my own fucking house. I pay all my own fucking bills. And I buy a lot of expensive fucking things. And they're not drugs, honey. So, next. Another person. PJ, PJ, PJ Page is one of my favorite people on earth. And they said, I love you because you could care less what people think. Strength. Yes. These are man arms. That's right. I'm a man. Kiss that man arm. <laughs> Next, Jan Harvey. Okay, bye. Did I even say hi to you? Like, why? Who are you, bitch? Uh, Next, Chris Spengler Kennard. Sounds like you're going fishing. <laughs> he says, ha 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 face. That's cute. 
I don't know if you're laughing because you agree with me or you're laughing because you hate me. I don't know why you're laughing. I don't know if you're... You sound like a Ghostbuster, you say? Yeah, Stangler. The Ghostbuster. Oh, my boyfriend said something like Ghostbuster. Maybe he's Ghostbusting. Who knows why he's laughing, but he laughed. Um, next one. Louise Barnett, you dumbass bitch, and you won't even show your own face. Your dog is a picture of your fucking face. And it says, it. All it says is it. What does that mean? Is it? It's what? What did it do? Tell me, Louise Barnett. What did it do? With your little white dog face and your dog wearing glasses? I mean, that looks like an it to me. If a dog can wear glasses, how come a boy can't wear makeup? <laughs> huh? Louise Barnett? You little weirdo. Next. Matthew Gomez. Wait. Why did you... It's like halfway cut off. Angela Modena. God bless you and keep preaching your mind. No one has the right to tell anyone what to do. A motherfucking man. That was the whole point of my video. That was the whole point of that video was you can't tell somebody they can go get an abortion, but they cannot go get conversion therapy. It, you can do whatever you want with your life. Live whatever life you want. That's the beauty of America, bitch. Nobody has to like it. Nobody's asking you to like it. Nobody told you to like my status or fucking comment on my thing. But we told you I'm going to live my lifestyle regardless and people can live whatever lifestyle they want. If they want to stop being gay and turn straight, let them. I would never do that. But who am I to say that they can't? Who the fuck are you to judge somebody's life? I'm a homo. I want to be respected for my life. So do you know what I do? I respect other people's lives, even when I don't understand it. Because I know a lot of you don't understand my life. And that's okay. So what do I do? I stand up for religious communities. I stand up for people that want to get conversion therapy. I stand up for the right and I stand up for people on the left when it comes to abortions. That's the only thing I agree with by the left, mind you. And I don't agree with them actually on board. I don't agree with them, like what they're saying about abortion. I agree on certain I should I believe it should be case by case. So But I also believe that anybody can live the lifestyle they want to live. This is America, that's what we're all fighting for. That's what the left's fighting for, the right's fighting for. We're all fighting for the same fucking thing in the end. At least I think. And I like to hope we are. You know? Yeah. George W. Bond three the third. Sounds like sounds like fancy. He says he, she, or it. I'm a human, bitch. Like, why do you need to know? Like, when you find out the information of what I am, will you do something with it? What, what is it going to do to your life? Like, why do you need to know he, she, or it? Tell me. Oh, wait. Well, since you must know, do you want to see my dick? I can send you dick pics because I love taking dick pics. Uh, but, but um, anyways, I'm a he... Capital H E. There's no breast assist. I'm a man. I'm a man. Mm. And let me educate you like I educated everybody earlier. Makeup is made for skin, not for vaginas. Women do not put makeup on their vaginas. Everybody has skin. Oh, look. That means anybody can wear makeup. <coughs> Extensions are made to be put into hair, not made to be put on vaginas. So it looks like I have hair. Anybody can wear extensions. Men call them toupees, call them whatever you want to call them. Say what you want, but that's what it is. Um, so let's go on to another comment of my adoring fans. <laughs> Simeon, I think it's Simon, but he spells it really weird. Maybe his mom was on drugs or something, I don't know. But Simeon Abidez, Abidez. Simeon Abidez, why the satanic earring? Because it's October. <laughs> That one, that one, I didn't know what else to say. It's October. I mean, it's, like, it's October. Like, Halloween's a thing. I don't know if you guys heard of it or not. I don't, maybe it's because I'm kind of new to the Republican Party, but do they celebrate Halloween? Because it's October. That's why. Uh, I wish there was a cooler explanation for it. I know that, like, thank you, um, Mike, Y, Don, You've been amazing. She has supported me so hardcore. Or, wait. Mike and Don. I'm assuming that's Mike and Don. I'm assuming that's two of you guys. But they've been so supportive to me, and I, I really appreciate you guys so much. I'm seeing them. They're clapping back before I can. When I'm seeing these hate comments, they're going on there and be like, Bitch, what? Bitch, what? He's Republican. Mind your own. You're, you're stopping the movement from happening, which is awesome, and they totally agree with me on that aspect. Because what it is, is if you guys want this Republican movement to work, if you guys want to continue to win, we need to come together as Republicans. And when you guys hate me for the way I look, and I'm going to get to the, if you guys read the caption of this um, live video, I'm going to get to why. 
why I make this video. Not just to make fun of people, not just to uh, answer these dumbass questions I was asked, but because something happened today. In fact, let's just get right into it. So I, I'm not going to say any names, but I got a message from um, a woman about a couple of weeks ago, and she told me that her and her son were at odds. He was 15 years old. He likes to... He's androgynous like I am. He likes to wear makeup. He likes stuff like that. He likes makeup and cl women's clothes. He's not exactly sure if he's trans or whatnot, but he, at any rate, he doesn't know yet, so who are we to say what he is? All I'm saying is that this boy was a lot like me, and this boy and his mom were at odds with their political agreements because of the fact that she's Republican, but she supported him, and he didn't understand how that could happen. So he saw my videos, and I gave this boy hope, and this boy had a lot of hope, and his mo mother reached out to me to thank me. I brought this family together because this mother and this son now both could talk about politics and still let him have his own personal style. That's beautiful, you guys. I brought a family together. I gave a boy hope, a boy who was losing it. Well, something bad happened to him. I just got told today. That's why I'm making this video. So today, she messaged me again and she told me, He talked to her about going to school like that, and he wanted to just be himself for once at school. And she told him, warned him that people at school might not be that nice to him. And he said, he had so much courage because of watching my videos and seeing the way I am and seeing the way I don't care what people say. And um, the boy went to school like that. He got laughed literally out of class. The teacher got in trouble because she did nothing about it. She was a new teacher. The kids made fun of him so bad. The boy was talking about killing himself. And when you talk about killing yourself, you go to the hospital for 72 hours. It's called 72-hour hold, 72-hour evaluation. His mother had no choice. She took him to the hospital. Put it this way. She told me, I think he might be coming home in a week. That's more than 72 hours. I mean, this is a serious case, you guys. This boy, this awesome boy who just made amends with his mother about politics and both agree with the right, your party, our party, wants to take his life so much to where he is now in a hospital longer than seven to hour hold which means this is serious guys and you when you guys are mean to people your kids are watching you and your kids go to school with him now I think this video is so important the ending of this video at least so important the beginning I get it I was fun it was funny ha ha everybody hates me whatever <laughs> I have thick skin not everybody does and some of the things you guys say to me, if I didn't have thick skin, could, could take my life. And yeah, I get it. You right-wingers who are like, no, that would be your own choice. Take your own life. I get it. I get it. But don't act like you didn't drive somebody there. I have thick skin. I can handle it. Not everybody can. But God damn it, when a, somebody is gay or dresses a little different or maybe wears makeup, fucking let them be, especially if they're supporting your party. We're not hurting anybody. We're not breaking any laws. Yeah, we're different. Why does that surprise you? Identical twins are different. We all have different life experiences. But this boy is 15 years old. His life is almost cut short because of people like you. Because these hateful people from both sides. At least when he's on the right with his mother at home, his family's getting along now. They're seeing eye to eye. They're letting him express himself. Who are you to take that away from him? And yes, 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 I, I wholeheartedly blame everybody out there who is hating on one another. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Because those are the one, we're the ones the kids are watching, guys. I have thousands of people watching my videos. Right now there's 31 at this moment. Wake up. This little boy, he's so full of light. He's such a good energy. He's so nice. He's so happy he's 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 a fan of mine and he loves who, what I do and he loves who I am and he I made him less confused because he was confused as to why he didn't agree with the left but why he still wanted to look the way he wanted to look I gave him I gave him hope I didn't mean to give him hope to go to school like that and get fucking laughed at and want to kill himself so at this point this is something serious and it's beyond me it's beyond you it's beyond politics Drop it for a minute. And this is about him and his life. And if you don't see the seriousness of that part of the situation, then maybe you have something fucked up in your head. 
but please know that there are good people on this party that are gay, that are androgynous. It's just a style, guys. It's fucking called androgyny. No, we're not trans. There's trans people here too, though. There are. I've met them, and they're beautiful people. And they support you. So put your fucking Bibles under your pillow where it belongs. Talk about God in your church where it belongs. And I support it. I stand for you. I talk about you all the time. I tell people to respect the religious communities. Don't tell us we don't belong somewhere. We are human. We are American. We believe in the Constitution. We believe in our government. We believe in our president. What the fuck makes us different than you? We all have freedoms. But this is beyond freedoms. Like I said, this boy's freedom to live. This is not a freedom. This is a this is just it is what it is. You're allowed to live. You gotta live. And for any of you to make me try to feel less than, I I'd be lying to you, I said if it doesn't fucking work ever. Sometimes it gets to me. And it's not okay. I'm gonna continue to be on the right. And you ain't gonna chase nobody away anymore. Cause that little boy, when he gets out, his mother told me that she can, she's gonna video chat with me and him. I'm gonna talk to him and let him know that he's important. I need him here. We all need him here. He's just as important as me, as you, as anybody else. And he does not deserve to be in a hospital right now. Away from his friends, away from his school. He's 15 years old. What the fuck is wrong with you people? People are different. It is the way it is. Political beliefs are different than what you guys are saying to people like me and him. And the sad part is we still stand next to you people, voting for the same people. We're the ones defending ourselves because people are like, how are you gay and Republican? Uh, because of people like you. We're the ones having to explain to people and prove to people how Trump is not homophobic, how Trump is not racist, how Trump is not sexist. He employs more women in the managerial positions than any other president in history. And that's ignored because of people like you. Now the left, I get it, they're, they're idiots. And there's a lot of you on the right that are ignorant. But the beauty of that is that ignorance can be changed. You can't make a fucking dumbass idiot an idiot, a fucking smarter if they don't want to be smarter. But you can take ignorance away from yourself. You can stop being ignorant. You can open that mind up a little bit. Or at least your heart, man. So to all the bad comments on here, bitch, hi, I'm going to be here regardless. To all the bad comments on here that people like that 15-year-old boy is watching happen to me, shame on you. Shame on you for him. I can handle it. But don't forget when you guys comment those things, it's public. So I didn't want to say any names or anything like that because I have respect for the family 100%. I will not do that to them. But this 15-year-old boy is going to live. And he's going to be part of your party as well. He's only 15. He is the future. As we all die off, he'll still be here. Repping what we need him to rep. So how about we have a little bit of appreciation? And a little bit of acceptance, maybe? You don't have to like us. I'm not asking you to come to dinner, homeboy. I'm asking you to vote the same as me. And not make me look bad or make the president look bad. Because what you're doing at that point is it makes your vote irrelevant. What you're doing at that point is you're literally... Just costing us more votes. Why? Because people like me who thought I had to vote Democrat because I'm gay. The walkway movement is showing all of us something different. Thank God for the walkway movement, which is started by a gay hairdresser. Just like myself. Just remember, you won because of us. Without us, you have nothing. So unless you want those liberal idiots to take control of this country again, you'll fucking shut the fuck up and let me talk. Last time I checked, there wasn't thousands watching your videos. I'm changing minds. I'm bringing together families. And I have proof of this. There's so many people who accept gays now because of me. There's so many people who accept people because of me. There's so many humans who accept other humans, period, because of me. I'm not taking all the credit for that. It took a lot of work for other people. And I have to go through a lot of hate daily. But when I heard this story today, I decided to go live and let's read some of these comments out loud. Because it's important for you guys to hear the shit and the crap that I have to fucking hear. But it's not just me. Like I said, I'm public. People like that 15-year-old boy, how many of them are watching? How many of them are seeing what you guys are saying to me? 
and are afraid to be themselves tomorrow. How many of you guys are making people, our kids, watch this and say, I never want to be evil like that. I'm going to the left. How many people are watching me saying, that's why I'm not Republican? Or see, that's why I'm not. How many votes are you costing us? How many lives are you costing us? And how many kids are never going to be joining us because of you? You don't have to like me. You can hate me. Do it on your own time. Post it on your own wall because nobody watches you anyways. Don't go comment on my shit knowing there's children watching me. How dare you? That boy's 15, you guys. I don't know if any of you remember being 15, how confusing and crazy it is, whether it's your first kiss, your first girlfriend, or first body hair, whatever the case may be. 15 is really scary. And this boy's in the hospital, not in class. Tomorrow's Monday. He should be in school, but he's... His mom said, hopefully he gets out in a week. In a fucking hospital. And I take a little bit of credit for that, because I feel bad. I feel like... I feel a lot of guilt, because I talked to him and his mom, and I got them to be close again, and I told him that you can be whoever you want, you could dress however you want, you could look however you want, you don't have to be on the left because you look a certain way, you don't agree with them, so there's no, there's no problem with being on the right, the right is for the constitution, and people like you fucked it up for me and him, but like I said, I feel a little bit of guilt because I told him he could be whatever he wants and believe whatever he wants, and I still stand by that, so he felt good that now him and his mom can come together. Because now he doesn't feel like the Republicans are evil anymore. Because he watches my videos. And now, to, today he's in a mental hospital. Trying to kill himself. <laughs> because of the hate he's receiving. Now I'm strong and I stand, I stand my ground. And, uh, but if anybody's watching that is going through something like that, I urge you to stand your ground as well. You're going to get a lot of hate. I got so much of it, it's crazy. I got hate for days. If I had a dime, bitch, I'll be rich as fuck. Like, <laughs> but seriously, stand your ground. I need people like you. You need people like you. We need people like you. We're changing minds slowly but surely. But at any rate, this is beyond politics. But when you come back to the political level, just know that it's all about this country and it's all about us being fucking honoring our constitution and not telling each other what to do, what we can do, what we can't do. That's what makes us Republican. Don't forget it. And don't let nobody tell you because you're gay, because you're black, because you're Mexican, you have to be a Democrat. That's a false narrative. That's what the Democratic Party tells you. I never want to be part of a party that lies to me. The truth ain't always pretty, bitch. And even when it's ugly, the Republican Party tells you like it is. And some people don't like that. You want fairy tales? Go read a storybook. You want to hate gay people? Go talk about it at your church. Not here. Not here. Because you're costing us votes to where it makes your one vote irrelevant. So like I said, I want you guys to pray for him tonight. I can't tell you his name. He's only 15 years old. I'm not going to do that. But if you guys do believe in God, which I don't, but I, if you do believe in God, please pray for him tonight. I'm sending all my positive vibes there. Pray for him. He has a place on this fucking earth. And that's the future of our party. Pray for him. But that's the whole base of this video. But um, I wanted to... I started off the video really funny because I wanted you guys to see the hate I get and how I don't give a fuck. But also I just want you to know that I am public so a lot of people do see these, um, see these comments and these horrible things you guys are saying to me. Whether you're on the left or the right, you guys say horrible things. The left is easier to write them off because it's like whatever, they're, they're on the opposing team, I get. Which I hate that we even got to be that way. But I get it. And I get that I'm an abomination to the gay community. The gay community said I can't be gay anymore, whatever the case may be. They hate me. Whatever, it's the left. It's what they do. They hate. It's like they, they invented hate. But the right to see you guys doing it too is crazy to me. Mind you, I did have more love than I had hate on all the comments. So I appreciate that. And all you people who came to my aid and said that, like, clap back for me before I can. And I'm fast. So you bitches are quick. I Thank you guys so much. And you guys are awesome. Like People like Angela, um, Mike, um, Matthew, PJ, of course, PJ. Um, all of you guys. Um, Mike, Don. Um, you guys are all such amazing people. Catherine, Brooks, I still want to know who was the guy around house, who around house kicked somebody. No, you think I am, because I want to know, you yeah. know. But, um, all you people are so, so awesome, and thank you so much for having my back. Um, Mark, um, Chastity, um, thank you. Thank you. And you guys are the reason why this party is going to continue to succeed, and, um, with me being a part of it. And I think that we all need to let down our walls right now about differences. And we need to realize that what we're fighting for is a constitutional right of every American. 
not just Americans. This, this love doesn't come conditionally. It's not, we're not the left. We're not the left. Stop acting like it. But anybody who acts racist, homophobic, or fucking sexist, you're the reason why everybody thinks Trump's that way. You're the reason. So stop looking like idiots and stop making us look dumb and stop making people afraid to come to the side. Midterms are coming. Stop costing us votes, okay? But that's that, and I'm gonna be myself regardless. Nobody's asking you to watch my videos. If you don't like my videos, cool, don't watch them, please. Bye, don't watch my videos. I don't, I'm not forcing a goddamn soul to watch them, bitch. If I had nobody watching them, bitch, I'd still be making them. I have, I have some videos like that. I have some videos where it's just me, I'm like, hi. And nobody's even watching it all, but I don't care. Because I'm going to be me regardless. And I'm going to talk my truth regardless. So, that being said, if you don't like something on Facebook, here's how Facebook works. Keep scrolling. Facebook does not have a dislike button. Why? Because you're not supposed to go and tell somebody what you dislike. Right? Because they have a what button? A scroll button that goes up and down the side of your screen. If you do not like that button, there's another button. Let me tell you about it. It's called block. And when you block somebody, they disappear forever. It's crazy, I know. You never have to see them again. Weird. It's so crazy. Like, it's like, who invented these things, right? So, um, just know you guys can always use the block button. You guys can always use the scroll button. And you guys don't have to watch my videos. Nobody forced you to. It's not like the leftists think electric shock therapy is. It's not forced. You know, it's a choice. Like abortion. So, what you guys can do is keep on scrolling or not feel the need to hate me. Because let me explain something to you older adults who did leave all those hate comments. Algorithms are real. If you don't know what algorithm is, <laughs> let me explain it to you. So this is what happens on Facebook. Do you know why you see the people on your newsfeed that you see? Do you know why sometimes you'll go to that old high school friends page and you'll see that you're still friends, but you're like, how come I never seen nothing on newsfeed about them? Hmm. This is why. The things that pop up on your newsfeed are the things that you click on, the things that you stop when you're scrolling and stare at. That's how they know how what to advertise to you. That's how it works. So anytime you Dislike my video and you feel the need to tell me I'm ugly or stupid or retarded. Every letter you type to comment back to me means you're going to see just that many more videos on your news feed. So you hate me, you want to get rid of me, then don't comment. In fact, don't even stop when you're scrolling because if you stop, it catches it. And algorithms are real. And every time you stop on my videos, you're going to see more of them. So you're tired of me? Be tired of me. That means keep scrolling past me. Or, like I said, there's two other features called block and scroll through. Every time you talk, every time you text me, every time you message me that I'm an idiot, you guys are gonna see more of me. So hate me, hate me, hate me, hate me, hate me, but really it looks like love me, love me, love me, love me, love me. Cause also, just so you guys know, Facebook loves the attention my video gets, so they monetize me. Until they found out I was Republican, now they're trying to, if you guys see my videos always go Sometimes they get all weird and the sound cuts off and stuff. Weird Facebook, that's strange. Anyways, but um, Facebook hates the fact that I'm Republican, so they do try to shut me down now. But at first they thought I was liberal because the way I looked. They were pulling a um, right, 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 right winger, where they just looked at the way I looked, and they were like, oh, he must be liberal. Ah. So immediately Facebook was like, we like you, you get a lot of views, so let's monetize you. So also know this. The more you comment, the more you see me in the newsfeed, the more videos you see, and the more I get paid. <laughs> Pay my bills, baby. So even the person who said, let's see, what was her name? Even the person who said, ew, you're ugly. Thank you for the money. I'll use that money to fix my face. Because what I want to do is get a top lip. I do want a top lip. I never had surgery done before, but I want one. I just want a top lip. That's it. So, um, yeah, that's that. So the person who called me ugly, thank you for the paycheck. But, and... and don't worry, you'll see more of my ugly face in your news feed, because that's how it works. So, um, if you guys hate me, then just don't stop on my videos or block me. Because when you block me, I'll disappear forever. And if you stop on my video or you comment on my video, then you're going to see more of my videos. Even if you comment saying, ew. So, don't waste your time with people you don't like. I don't. I don't waste my time with nobody I don't like. Learn today. Or be a fan. Because whether you're a fan or a hater, you're still a fan. <laughs> Anyways, love you guys so much. And pray for that boy. Pray for his family. They really need everybody right now. They need all of our positive attention. They need all of our prayers. They need all of our whatever God you believe in. It doesn't fucking matter. They, they need all of it right now, okay? And when he gets out, you guys tell your motherfucking kids at all those elementary schools and middle schools and high schools, you tell your kids to accept differences. You tell your kids, especially if they're on the right. If they're on the right, then love them, bitch. Like, the fuck? This is the most important elections, I think, in American history, to be honest with you. And we are lucky to even be a part of it. Lucky and nervous, because I'm nervous as well. Like, 
my arm gets sweaty. I'm like, <laughs> every time something happens like Kavanaugh, I was like, oh my God, you know, but, um, congratulations Kavanaugh. But, um, you know, so I want you guys to know that we should appreciate all the votes we get, regardless if they're from somebody who looks a little different. I don't care if they have one leg or two teeth. Let's just love them, okay? And appreciate them. And if we don't like them, let's turn off our computers and tell each other. Like, I tell my boyfriend all the time, like, ew, look at this bitch. Look at this bitch. I do it all the time. All the time. I'm guilty. I'm human. It's what happens. So do that. Don't sit there and say, I'm going to tell her, look at this bitch. I don't do that. I don't do that. Why? Because, first of all, I don't want to see that bitch again, so I don't want her out in my algorithms. Two, I ain't got time for that. Three, Thank you for her votes. I'm not going to cost us more votes. When I see two people at the same party fighting about politics, I'm like, I'm like, you guys are like toodle and toodle dumb. Anyways, so that's my story. I'm sticking to it. So love everybody. Yes, Molly, I never really read the comments normally, but that one really stuck out just now. It just popped up. It says, that's why I teach my kids to love everyone no matter what. Always love everyone no matter what. Always respect people's choices in this world. And always know our constitution was written for a reason. I know that every single one of us wants that American dream. And hate's not the way to get there. Sorry, leftist. <laughs> Don't be a liberal. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, guys. Um, love you guys. Love you guys. Love you guys. And um, for all the people, last thing I'm going to end it with is when the people ask me, how are you, gay and Republican? This is how. I'm gay. I'm a man. I sleep with other men. And I will walk into a voting booth. And I check off Republican. <gasps> That's how. Whoa. Whoa. You guys remember that? Whoa, Joey. Whoa. Anyways, so that's how it happens. And in case you guys keep wondering, how is it possible? It's not like something that's miraculous. It's like, I have a penis, I suck a penis, and I vote Republican. That's how. Anyways, so bye guys. Love each other. Love yourselves. And let's fucking be nice to people, okay? Bye. Not the left. Don't be nice to them. But be nice to each other on the right.